The origins of life have long fascinated mankind. Today, a major international research institute in Geneva, Switzerland, is aiming to prove ideas like the Big Bang Theory. Sun technology is at the heart of the complex business intelligence systems that are driving these large research programs. And over the next few minutes, we'll be exploring what we call Big Bang Business Intelligence. Geneva is the home of CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It is staffed by thousands of scientists, engineers, technologists and administrators and is the workplace of many Nobel Prize winners. CERN is at the forefront of research into what matter is made of and what forces hold it together. Take its latest multi-billion dollar project for example, the Large Hadron Collider or LHC for short will allow scientists to recreate the exact conditions they believe existed just one billionth of a second after the Big Bang occurred. Highly complex projects like the LHC generate vast amounts of raw management data. That demands a business intelligence platform that provides 24-7 availability, huge processing power, extreme flexibility and potentially unlimited scalability. And that's exactly what Sun and Oracle have provided. But it wasn't always like that. In the early 90s, our MIS environment was based on a mainframe and the users did not have direct access to the system. Uh, we had to pull a cable to the end user for him to be able to access the data. What Mats and his team needed was a system that provided reliability, flexibility, scalability and power. After a thorough review of the available platforms, CERN chose to build its business intelligence universe on a powerful Sun Oracle platform. So we looked at a number of different possibilities at that point and we decided that Oracle on Unix was a very good choice because with that combination we saw that we could provide much richer functionality to the end users and much quicker response on how their financial situations were and then helping the organization to take better decisions and faster decisions. Today, CERN has a one terabyte business intelligence data warehousing system, or BIDW for short. This is hosted on powerful Sun servers and storage, which run Oracle 9i databases and over 40 e-business Java applications. So in the 13 years of system evolution, how has the Sun Oracle platform fared against the initial requirements? Let's start with flexibility. Since the early 1990s, the demands on the business intelligence system have grown significantly. The Sun Oracle system needed to be flexible enough to support a wide range of e-business opportunities. The most recent and functionally rich business intelligence tool to come online is the Staff Monitoring Tool, or SMT. This is used by project managers to interrogate the business intelligence system to track staff costs and project future expenditure. With an inbuilt Java simulation engine, it is a blueprint for the way CERN plans to develop e-business tools in the future. The need for the self-monitoring tool arose from two main factors. The biggest factor of them all was, of course, the tighter budgetary control with the LHC looking like it would overrun. Uh, and uh, we needed to start to count the stuff, uh, complement more in terms of Swiss francs and less in terms of, of just headcounts. Since this tool requires CPU horsepower, database in an integrated way, together with web server, together with the ability to stream the data back to the users, loads of data that goes back to the, to the client, uh, what we have found so far is that this is, this is a platform that, that uh, fulfills those not so easy to fulfill requirements. CERN's data warehouse started out with a few specialist users. 
but soon the benefits it brought were much in demand. But for the Sun system, scalability was not a problem. We initially targeted a user community of between 50 and 200 people and it rapidly emerged beyond 1,000, beyond 2,000 and it was really the scalability of the Oracle Sun platform that enabled us to move up to 2,000 users without any additional uh, hardware costs. The development of the World Wide Web by technologists at CERN created the opportunity to share information in the global CERN community. It was one of the first organizations to use Sun's Java language to create web applications for this purpose, offering a new level of accessibility. Java was a key choice in the technology to bring the information out onto the internet, Java being the language of the internet, if you like. And as a result of that, we've been rapidly able to build up 40 business processes in our e-business system, which we wouldn't have been able to do in, with any other technology. Now, the Sun Oracle infrastructure at CERN is a powerful and highly accessible e-business system, enabling a fundamental change in the way the organization works. So CERN has more than half of the world's particle physicists who are currently involved in experiments or building the future accelerators. And they access information about financial status, the human resource status, uh, information on the e-business system or the pro progress of the projects through the data warehousing architecture which is here. Controlling more than 40 separate financial and management processes and with 10,000 registered users, it allows managers at CERN and the organisations with whom it works to keep tight control over finances and resources in real time. The scalability was an important factor for us when we selected the, the solution based on Oracle, Solaris and Java. Today we have users uh, accessing our systems from all over the world and uh, we are providing this service very successfully. The scalability of Sun solutions has been a key benefit for CERN but the combination of Sun's sheer processing power and Oracle's functionality now permits the sort of information resources which would previously have been unimaginable. So for instance, if the CFO wanted to look at the CERN's financial status over a long period, say several years, that's potentially looking at a very large amount of financial data. But using this data warehousing architecture and taking advantage of the Oracle database facilities and the extremely fast Sun hardware, that question can be intelligently rewritten into a more efficient way of accessing the data and the CFO can have his reply in less than a second. Basically, we need to on the fly generate 10 years of human resources data for all of CERN, for all the staff at CERN. And there is one part of it that's, of course, database bound and there is uh, one part that's, that's CPU bound and all these parts have to tie together uh, which is something that, that Oracle Sun Combination has proven to provide us. With such a successful track record in helping CERN address key business issues, it's no surprise that Sun's business intelligence data warehouse is set to play an even more crucial role in CERN's future plans. Now if we look forward to 2005 and beyond, I think we're reversing the roles in the data warehousing arena of, of the computer and the user, whereas previously the end user would go in and interrogate the data warehouse system, say, what is the situation on my budget? Now we would like the data warehousing system itself to be more proactive and alert the user saying, I think it's time that you should look into your budget. And taking this proactive role, we're really reversing the roles between the, the data warehouse and the user as we see them today. But predicting the future is very difficult and who knows what the future challenges and the future projects in the MIS arena will be. One thing we do know is whatever the challenge, people will require access to large amount of data and they'll require that access in very fast response times. And there we're confident that through the Sun-Oracle combination we can achieve both the manageability of the data through scalability and we can achieve the response times that our end users are waiting for. For 50 years, scientists at CERN have been investigating the origins of the universe. The scope and scale of the work they do is so great that it's hard to grasp. They've achieved much, but still have so much more to do. Thanks to Sun technology, that challenge will be just a little less daunting.